All right, so this is really funny. Uh, I actually don't have Steam installed on Windows, so I actually had to download it. Um, <laughs> why would I have Steam on Windows? I, I, it doesn't make sense to me. Hey there, my name is Gardner. I'm a Linode developer advocate, and today we're gonna talk about getting your own Rust server set up so that you can play with your friends on a private server. It couldn't be more simple to get one set up with the Linode one-click app solutions, so let's go ahead and do this. And if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. It really helps us out. We're making some cool content over here and I hope you guys like it. So if you do hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. All right, let's get into it. So the first thing that you're gonna wanna do is log into the Linode Cloud Manager. Uh, this is something you'll do after you've created a Linode account. If you don't have a Linode account already, make sure you hit the link in the description. Uh, you'll get some free credits to start your Linode account with. All right, so once you're in the dashboard is go over to Marketplace. Once this screen has loaded, we're gonna click on Rust, which is down here near the bottom for me. And we're scroll down, we're gonna to want to create uh, our password. Now, there's gonna be multiple passwords. Each one of them should be different. It's good practice to have different passwords for different purposes. This is going to be the Rust console uh, password. This is the password that you'll use as you're accessing the game to manage it as an administrator. Now, under the advanced options, you can give uh, your server a host name. Um, let's call this Gardner's Rust server. And then server description, powered by Linode, that works for me. Maximum players, this number is going to be subject to whatever size Linode you actually decide to create. Let's go with 50 for now. Uh, you can select the kind of map that runs by default here. You can select the world size. Uh, the maximum, I believe, is 8,000 for this lin uh, for the world size. It doesn't look like you can actually type it in, though. Uh, and then you're gonna also select your seed. This can be anything you want it to be. Uh, this is what's used to generate the procedural map. So we can type in any number here up to like 4,294,967,295. So this can be a pretty large number. Uh, and this is going to give uh, random randomness. Now I'm using the letter or the number eight quite a bit because that's just where my finger falls naturally. But uh, that's probably way too big. <laughs> that's probably a good number here. Uh, enable global chat, true. Enable PVP, uh, PVE uh, can be true as well. If PVE is player versus environment. Uh, let's say true, why not? Debian 9 is the supported Linux distro for uh, this one-click app. Uh, if we go down here to region, now you're gonna wanna set your region to where the majority of your players are going to be located physically. Uh, I'm in the Northeast United States, so I'm gonna choose Newark, New Jersey. Let's scroll down here and, and choose a plan. Now, the plan that you select here is going to actually be the available hardware resources for your Linode. Uh, the minimum recommended plan for uh, a Rust server is actually going to be a, an eight gigabyte Linode. Uh, and it might also behoove you, uh, instead of going with a shared CPU, depending on the number of players you uh, anticipate on having, to actually have a dedicated CPU. So uh, we're gonna choose a dedicated eight gigabit or eight gigabyte uh, Linode here. Now we can uh, select a label. That The default is fine for me. Uh, game server, this is optional here, the, the tags. Uh, and then we can choose a the root password. Now this is gonna be for logging into Linux uh, via SSH uh, into your uh, Linode here. So we're gonna go ahead and just uh, set one up. Now you can enable backups, I'm not going to. And you can enable a private IP address, I'm not gonna do that either. Now all you have to do now is hit create and let the Linode provision. Now it could take a few minutes to provision this uh, Linode. Uh, we'll, let, we'll just let it do its thing and once it's ready, we'll head on to the next part. All right, so now that we have uh, our Linode set up, we're gonna have to actually boot back into Windows uh, in order to play Rust, which kind of sucks, but we're gonna have to do it. All right, so this is really funny. Uh, I actually don't have Steam installed on Windows, so I actually had to download it. Um, <laughs> I never use Windows for games unless it's like my VR PC. So we've opened up our Linode Cloud Manager and now we need to go here and just copy uh, the IP address to our clipboard. And that's gonna let us uh, paste in that address uh, into our console. So now what we need to do is actually launch the game. All right, now if we hit F1 and we type in connect and then we can paste in, and I believe it's 28015. Yes, if we hit enter, it should connect us to our server. 
So yeah, here we are. We have uh, a Rust running. Uh, this is we're connected to our server, uh, our Linode server that we just created, uh, and you can invite your friends here. But yeah, I'm not going to go over all the console commands or anything like that. If you if you want to create your own Rust server, you probably know what the commands are yourself. But you know what? This actually shows how easy it is to set up a Rust server for yourself. This is a private server. You can have your friends on it, uh, and only your friends. And uh, I think that's pretty rad. I think that's gonna do it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you like what we're doing here, make sure you hit that subscribe button. You can also hit that like button. Share this video with other friends who might be interested in creating a Rust server of their own. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.